Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the day 5 of the UI Builder session. In this day, we will basically talk about that data resource and repeater. So there is a very two important topics we are going to discuss today. One is the data resource and another is the repeater. So let's discuss one by one. So data resource is nothing but uh, a resource that can help you to get information from the server side. So if you can see that I am in that demo uh, workspace and in that uh, home page where we are building uh, some widgets, tabs, we are uh, adding some components and printing dynamically. Here we are going to add one more thing or we are going to use one more thing called data resource. So before we talk about the data resource and repeater, let's understand why we are using the data resource or why we are going to use the repeater. So if you see in my instance, right now we are in the demo uh, workspace. Here we want to print all this incident which priority is high and then open. So if I go back to that our incident table and put the priority equal to high and then state equal to open. So you can see there, there is a four incident right now present in the system. So these four incident is a high priority incident. Those incident information, I just want to print our, our dashboard or our workspace. So how we can do that? Definitely we can do through a report, uh, like we can show the count, but we want to create a tiles. In the tiles, we want to print that incident number, their short description, all these details. For that, date, uh, for that, we need to query to that uh, incident table with the filter and find out that actual incident information and then print here to our workspace. So because of that, we are going to query to the incident table, backend table, we are printing them, we need a data resource. As you can understand that using the data resource, we can actually query to the backend table and then from the backend table, we can do any kind of backend server side operation with the help of data resource. So let me create a data resource right now. So for that creating a data resource, you have to click this plus sign. Once you click the plus sign, you can see that uh, these there are multiple data resources are there. You can see uh, multiple data resources are there out of box. You can load there and then you can uh, do that operation. What you can do that if your condition is not satisfied or if you couldn't find your appropriate data resource, you can create that. From here creating button, you can create the data resource. What we can do that, we can actually use one of these data resource template and using the data resource template, we can get some information. Like in our, um, uh, you know, our flow designer, we have a multiple actions like lookup records similarly here we have a lookup multiple records so using that we can actually query to the backend table and get the information so we'll select that we need multiple records so we'll select the lookup multiple records here and then click add so once you uh, see that it's loaded properly the first thing is that it's showing that table and it's saying that no table we need to define the for which table we are going to record that so for example, we are going to uh, find out that incident table. So we'll select the incident table. Now we have a condition. So let's put the condition here. Uh, priority high and active incident we are looking for. So we'll apply that. And you can see that we have one more thing called return field. So whenever we are going to query that, what should be returned? So if you see that in the right side, we have a pill view and we have a JSON view. So if you think about that, after querying to the incident table with applied the filter, result it's showing in the bracket 4. It means that it is returning the 4 record. Because if you see, we have a 4 record right now in the back end. So it is returning the 4 record. And if I open that, you can see these are the 4 record. And let's say that if I open any of this record, it's only returning the number information. So this is the number that is returning. Now, in the return field, we can define that what all information we need. So, let's say that we are going to say that num we need the number information. And click add. So, now we need two information, number and short description. Now, if you see that, it's the JSON got updated. Right now, four record again, same. But if we open one of these, right now, it's showing the number and then short description. So both information we have received right now. 
ओके एंड देन इफ यू वांट टू डू ऑर्डर बाय यू इफ यू वांट टू डू शॉर्ट टाइप मैक्सिमम रिजल्ट ऑफसेट दीज थिंग्स यू कैन डू दैट सो दिस वे वी कैन बेसिकली फेच द इन्फॉर्मेशन और एल्स यू कैन सी दैट वी कैन गेट सम इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द बैक एंड सो विल क्लिक बिफोर वी क्लिक दैट वी कैन अपडेट दिस here you can click that and we can update this uh, data resource details name so we'll say that look up so whatever is meaningful for you you can put that and click apply and then we can click the got it and you can pop close this pop up so if you see the left side under this data resource we have right now new data resource called look up high incident record so this uh you know records or you can say these data resources are added and this is responsible for fetching the information from the uh, server side so this way we can fetch the information from the server side uh, with the help of data resource now we fetch the information how we can represent this information that is a important factor also so let's see how we can represent that information so what we are going to do right now we are able to fetch this information from the server side now we need to print this information into these uh, any of these places right for example what i am going to do that i am going to place this information on that top here after hello or uh, here so what we'll do we will add here call uh, add component here we'll add after call a single layout So we created a single layout component after hello admin here, and what we go uh, are going to do that here we are going to print this incident information. So let's do that. So we'll click plus sign, and then one of the important component is called repeater. We are going to use the repeater here. Now, what is the repeater? The repeater is a something you could say that for loop. using this repeater we can repeat multiple times and fetch the information so if you see this lookup records what we have we have four records now we need to do a for loop and then do like in the script what we did we write the while loop and then we go through each and every information and, and add or print that right similarly repeater is works like a for loop or while loop and that can help you to print information one by one so what we'll do we'll go and select that as a configuration equal to none and then once we select that you can see that so repeater need one information called data array and that will automatically print this one by one so this is the data or you can say the data array that will print one by one so what we'll do we will click this dynamic option right now and then with the help of dynamic option right now we are going to pull from the data resource so what we are going to do that data resource we are going to click this lookup record and we have four record or as you can say result equal to four that we are going to select and simply double click here so that it can apply in the top and then simply click apply so what will be happen right now you can see under this repeater data it dynamically binding with this lookup high incident record so now what will be happen it will loop for loop fourth time now after looping that there should be some places where it should print that right so it is just looping the fourth time but where we can print that to print that we can just simply select the stylized text so we'll uh, uh select the stylized text and then after this stylized text you can see that right now four component is print 1 2 3 4 because repeater have the four thing so we'll select the none and then once you select the none you can see that automatically let's workflow it four time printed because our incident count is four now what we'll do we want to print the incident number so we'll go and select that here text we will go to this uh dynamic binding and this time we should bind from the repeater so we'll select the repeater and then we'll go to this value and then we'll print this number so we'll uh print this display value and then you can see once you double click that this is apply to that uh, binded data and apply that now you can see that uh it have the four incident number 1 2 3 4 and this four incident number is 19 27 44 49 
44, 49, 19, 27 all are printed right now. We will simply save that. So basically this way you can get this information from that server side and print to your client side.